The English Channel is a very dangerous stretch of water. I've been in some terrifying situations there on a lifeboat and on my own boat. I couldn't really emphasize enough how dangerous it is. It's the busiest shipping lane in the world. It's a scary place in a small boat when you know what you're doing. And it's a terrifying place to be ill-equipped, overcrowded, when you don't know where you're going and you don't know what you're doing. Baby. Too tired. Too tired. Okay, okay. Okay, watch your hands. Watch well. Children first. No. Don't don't touch. Don't touch. No. No, no, no. We do not judge what we're doing. We're there to save lives. We're there to help people in distress. And I think when you have witnessed that distress firsthand, it then makes you realise that you are doing the right thing. That's it, that's it. Okay. That's it. Okay, quickly. Quickly. Right, okay, I'm going to lift you up. We're going to take you up there, okay? It's okay, it's okay. Nice and slowly, that's it. Hold on. Careful. The reaction we generally get from the migrants is of relief. It's not jubilation, it's relief. Just had them on the lifeboat deck actually praying because they're so thankful. Just feel sick. The first job I went to that involved a, a channel crossing, we rescued this little girl. She was five years old, about the same size as my daughter. She was, she was very scared and obviously exhausted, very cold, hungry. I now can't look at my daughter in her life jacket without thinking about that little girl. Saving lives at sea is what the RNI is here to do, and we will continue doing it. If we didn't go out to the migrant boats, would there be fatalities? Yes, there would, without a doubt. Whole families have drowned in the channel, trying to make it from France to England. It's an incredibly dangerous stretch of water. And if the RNLI was not rescuing people who have made unsuccessful crossings, then many, many more people would have drowned. That's it, yeah. Guard her down.